Hey guys, it's Jessica and Tyler, my husband, and um, today we're going to do a Disney haul. I'm going to take these ponytails off my arm. They're always on there, cutting <laughs> off my circulation. We have a lot of stuff. We went to Disney... About a month ago. About a month ago, a month ago. <laughs> and we were there for like a week. Mm -hmm. And um, where, where do we stay? When it's, all, when it's all in a pile, it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I don't, I have the pile of receipts. You buy a shirt here, you buy a pin there. Oh, and pins and are it's, expensive. It's, it's 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 embarrassing when you like that's that's a big that's a big pile of stuff. Yeah, but it's all awesome, and we go to Disney a couple times a year because yeah. your profession. He has a Disney travel agent. Yeah, and, and if you need to book a Disney trip, check him out. I know people some move people. or travel. He's the guy. Uh, He's your the guy. one guy. <laughs> that's right. You're I'm Rick. The you're Rick rolling in there. <laughs> anyway, so we're filming at night. Our baby Gigi's asleep. I'm talking to you guys like you're strangers. I know most of you guys know who I am because you're like already my subscriber. But those that don't, I don't know why I'm acting weird. This is, this is weird. I feel like it's it's just weird when you're in my videos. I don't know. I'm like really nervous. So, so we stayed, you asked where we stayed. Art of Animation and Grand Florid. Yes. For half and half. It's yes. Awesome. And it was totally awesome. We stayed at the Art of Animation. We brought our baby Gigi with us. And then also both sets of our parents were there. It was awesome. Yeah. We had three different rooms. And um, then halfway through the trip, they went home. Gigi went with them. We missed her dearly. Sad. But we had like three or four days of our own accord to do mm -hmm. with what we want. And that's nice. when we stayed at the Grand Floridian concierge level. It was amazing. We met so many amazing people there. So <laughs> many of you guys stopped us and said hi. I hope we weren't awkward when we met you because we're we can be awkward. We tend to be awkward. <laughs> but we loved meeting all of you guys. Thank you guys for stopping us and saying hi. It's always fun. And all of the vlogs are on your channel. Yes. Every single one's already up. Yeah. Actually, we're filming this. That's even never though, actually happened, I don't think. That, yeah, like, timing wise. It's like, oh yeah, it's going to be up at some point, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and we're never quite sure when that will be. I will link the playlist of all of the videos from this last trip down below, but we do them all the time. We go to Disney a few times a year. So yeah. definitely subscribe to his channel because that's where all of our Disney vlogs go. We're also annual pass holders, which is why we got like, you know, 10 to 20% off a lot of this stuff. So that's part of the reason why we buy so much. At least that's what I tell myself, okay. so I don't feel so bad I would have night. bought it all regardless. I'm going to be very clear here. So subscribe to his channel, Tyler Travels TV. I hope that you'll subscribe to mine. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so we've got a few, like, sections, right? We've got my stuff, Tyler's stuff, our shared stuff, and then we have stuff for random people and Gigi stuff. Mm -hmm. I figure we'll do the Gigi stuff towards the end. We have, like, universal stuff. So should we do oh, universal? Oh, yeah, we went to universal. Yeah. So should we do intermixed? Do you Let's want to do universal get, after? We'll just figure it out as we go. We're over planning as we always do. I just we tried to cut to. you off. It's research. Stop. I tried to cut you off five <laughs> times. I'm so sorry. So first thing, I get the most questions about where I get a lot of my shirts. I buy a lot of them on Etsy, and I'm going to show you one here in a minute that I bought on Etsy for this trip. Um, but I also buy a lot of mine at Uniqlo, which is a store at Disney Springs, formerly downtown Disney. And um, if you hear chomping, our Beagle That's Pinocchio <laughs> is chewing on a bone right behind where you guys are. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> but it's keeping him quiet and out of our crap, yeah. which is Because he keeps trying to steal stuff. And he's like, ooh, socks. Mm. Ooh. ooh. Are there bones in there? The treats? No. No, okay. But we did Stop. buy him a toy. Stay on track, Jessica. <laughs> so, at Uniqlo, they have incredibly cheap Disney stuff. Now, it's actually a regular store, but they have a section with a bunch of Disney stuff. So, I always get at least one thing there, wouldn't you say? At least And like the stock changes things. enough. Like, yeah, I know. <laughs> anyway, this time, deals. this time I got the most, though. I got three shirts. And that's more than I yeah. typically get there. They're just um, such good deals. They though. are. This one was $5. <laughs> Look how adorable. It's this white tee. It's kind of a little bit cropped. Not enough to like show anything. Please. I was postpartum. Still am. But I was like five months postpartum. I'm like, I'm not wearing anything cropped yet. <laughs> but, um, but it's kind of like a shorter t-shirt, if that makes sense. It looks really good with leggings. And I just love it. It's got really cute like Minnie Mouse, Simply Charming, dumb stuff like that that I love. Like actually but they, yeah, embroidered. they have embroidered little heads on there. They actually embroidered? Yeah. Or they just like iron on? No, they're actually embroidered. That's, That's what I'm cool. saying. Like, it's weirdly nice. nice. I don't get it. So I loved that. Um, and seriously, when you think about the cost of Disney shirts, they're like $37 for like the cheapest ones. Yeah. You can get these for, this was like on clearance for $5, but these other two were like $9.90 regular price. Yeah. So I got this one. I haven't worn this one yet. It's this black one that just says Little Mermaid and it's just got Ariel. It's so simple. There's nothing on the back, but I just thought that was so cute. And I don't have a Little Mermaid shirt, which is crazy because that's like your favorite one. One of please, you know she I almost like played Ariel on Broadway. Just saying. Okay. Okay. Um, anyway, <laughs> oh, I love. I didn't even notice on the back. So this one I also have not worn yet. Maybe I did wear the Little Mermaid one. Doesn't matter. <laughs> um, this one is Peter Pan. This might be my favorite, and it's so magical. It's navy blue, and then on the back I just now noticed there's a little Tinker Bell there. 
How flipping cute. Also, so, we all the time we say, here we go, and they go, do 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 yeah. <laughs> Here we go. We do that a lot. Uh, like m multiple times a day. That's us, weirdos. All right, I only got one t-shirt, which is crazy. My agency is called People Mover Travel, which is the Tomorrowland ride People Mover. Mm -hmm. Anybody? Bueller? Um, <laughs> and so, meet me at the People Mover. Come on. It I doesn't mean, get any more perfect than that. And it's really cool. It's like a real, one of those real soft tees. Like a nicer, And it's yeah. got like the edges there, the, or the, you know, the sleeves. These definitely run small, so size up. So, and it's a lot thinner too. I got this next shirt at the same shop and it was at Disney Springs as well. It was an actual Disney store, but it was, um, maybe it's trendy or something. Um, but it was one of the different stores that sells like different shirts and everything there was so cute and it wasn't anything I'd seen at other Disney gift shops, if that makes sense. Which is so, crazy, yeah. Yeah, so it was very unique and really, really cool. And that's where I got this shirt that just says, I speak Phoenician and Spaceship Earth is... <laughs> Say, but she doesn't actually speak Phoenician. Exactly. She uses the Phoenician alphabet, so I was against this shirt. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about real stuff. I don't care about facts. What do you want, facts? <laughs> Nothing in this world is based on fact anymore. So this, I just, I had to have it. It's like my favorite ride at Epcot. I love it. Again, these all run so, so small. I think I got a large. Does this look like a large to you folks? Honestly, no, it looks like a kid's large. So it's like size up two sizes, no joke for this one because it's, yeah, but I love it. Most of the stuff I got is from Universal. Should I intersperse or should I do like some of the randos? Do all Maybe, Disney, yeah, let's do all Disney, then all universe, but are you sure that none of that... I don't think... Oh, there's, there's... Oh, one, okay. This is the only... That's crazy. You, well, you love Harry Potter, and you got a lot mm. of Harry Potter stuff. Right. Okay. Um, so, it was the first time we saw Toy Story Land, because it just opened. Mm -hmm. And when I was a kid, I was obsessed with Buzz Lightyear. So we got a Buzz Lightyear ornament. Y'all, this was way more expensive than I thought it was. <laughs> yeah, I bought it, it at a kiosk, and I was like, <laughs> I'm sorry, how much? What was that total? Okay, yeah, this is embarrassing. But it's like too perfect. And I, I have, I mean, I have so many pictures of me like in the full garb. I had the like the blow up wings and the doll. Like I was oh hardcore into Buzz Lightyear. You were Buzz Lightyear. I was Buzz Lightyear, and but this was twenty one ninety nine. I was thinking it was like seventeen ninety five. That's, that's, that's even worse. That's unbelievable. Oh okay. well, well we have it. Here we are. But we we usually get ornaments um, every time yeah. we go. We got another one. We'll show you here in a bit. Yeah. All right. So my last shirt that I oh that's not true. I got another one. <laughs> another shirt I got was this one. Um, it's from an Etsy shop. I can link this exact shirt below. I'll try to link as much as I can. Um, I don't know that I'll be able to find links for all of this stuff because the Disney site is kind of odd and some things you can find, some things you can only get in parks. Yeah. But I know that I can probably still find this and link it because it was from Etsy. And it's just this simple light pink shirt that says Disney Parks. I'm sorry. Says Walt Disney. That's... <laughs> Didn't you say you spoke read? Venetian? <laughs> I also taught fifth grade. <laughs> Reading is hard. Anyway, it says Walt Disney. It's like that classic VHS, like beginning of a VHS <sighs> tape, please. They had that bunch of, you could choose different colors for both the logo and the shirt, but I loved it. It is just one of those like Gildan shirts that just makes me think of like shirts you'd get like in high school that you'd buy from yeah. the bookstore. Um, that was a very specific example. But, so they're not like my favorite kind of shirts, um, they're but they're fine. And I just loved the design so much. I was like, I don't care. I'm buying it anyway. So I love this. I wore this like twice on the trip. Yeah, yeah. Maybe even three times. I don't know. We washed your clothes. <laughs> I just had a client, trip. speaking of VHS tapes, who said that she's been dreaming about going to Walt Disney World since he was like watching VHS tapes in the 90s. They would have like the commercial before oh Aladdin gosh. or after Aladdin anyway. Hey, we were both drinking out of Disney mugs. Yeah, I specifically got these. Yeah, these are from our, another trip. We've had these for a while, but mine says Walt well, Disney World. Mm -hmm. 2018, they were still selling it. Yeah, it's a good mug. And then yours has all the... Uh, all like, the like lands. I think they still sell this too. Yeah, the old maps. I love this. So while we were gone, our dog Pinocchio uh, was being watched by my brother, Jason. So we got him a magnetic beer bottle opener and it says Dead Men Tell No Tales. But it's really heavy. It's really nice, but it's mm -hmm. a magnet too. It's teal is how it is the price, so. <laughs> price is teal. Price is teal. Floor's and lava. And then, speaking of 90s VHS tapes, my brother Jason's favorite movie growing up was The Lion King, so we bought him a little Simba mug. I feel like he, like his spirit is Simba. He is Simba, yeah. <laughs> he would go save was, the Pride Land. I think it was. Pride Land, I gotta go. I think it was the first like movie he ever saw in theaters was Lion King too. Oh, I don't even, I don't remember what the first movie I saw. Might have been Titanic and I was like, Oh, real fast, and then I'm going to do another because I've got way more than 10. This shirt is also from Disney, and it was way overpriced. It was a Disney Parks one, and it's kind is of that... like swing in the back and kind of open. It's I washed it once, and it got all like 
ready stainy. You know what I mean? Like pink. Is that the one you got in Disneyland Paris? No, I got a similar one there, but that one like got weird in the wash and then shrunk. So oh. eventually. So no, I got this one and I loved it and it was so cozy and it was so hot while we were there. So I loved that it was like op more open in the back. But it, like I said, I washed it once while we were there and it got all weird. I'm like, no. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I'll wear it around the house and I might wear it to Disney, but I'm like. Wearing a video. Clearly. I finally got this darn lanyard. I have been eyeing this. this are you so annoyed with me talking about it? I know. No, I'm glad it sounded yeah. passive aggressive. Are you annoyed? So. Are you so annoyed? <laughs> it sounded like a college roommate. Anyway, <laughs> I got this adorable lanyard. It's just a classic Minnie Mouse. I think it's technically a kid's one because it was not nearly as long as the other ones, but I'm like, I don't care. Um, I love it because all of the other ones I feel like are so busy. And if I were to actually put pins on this, um, I wouldn't want like the pattern to also be busy. I don't know, I can't explain that. So I was really excited to finally get this. That's all, I'm like pumped about it. <laughs> also speaking of uh, our dog Pinocchio, we also got him this little set of play balls. Play balls! He's got three of them. What's that? And we were gonna give, Come on. we were gonna give one to Pinocchio, one to my friend Ben and his dog, and then one to our friends Glenn and Laura. And Emily is Ben, part of He's Ben's. He's barely ben. on camera. Oh goodness. So what, um, what we said hello, what do we have up? I'm a Disney dog named Pinocchio because of my long nose. If you really like beagles and or Disney and or dogs, you should follow him on Instagram, Pinocchio the Beagle or yeah. Beagle Pinocchio on Twitter. He says, I am a very good boy. Our friend said he was a Slytherin. I was like, no, he is not. And Ben was like, but he steals food. I'm like, that does not make one a Slytherin. Uh, what are you, Gryffindor? Duh. I'm... Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw. Um, but we, there, this came with three of them, and we thought, okay, so we'll give one to Pinocchio. Our friends Ben and Emily, the ones who called him a Slytherin. Um, we can give one to their dog. So I did get another pair of ears. Um, these I bought actually on the Disney Parks website after Christmas last year because oh, it was like 70% yeah. off. I got it for like literally, I don't know, five-ish bucks yeah. instead of like 20, I don't remember exactly. So, and they were selling either the same ones or really similar ones this year, cause every holiday. Anyway, so definitely after Christmas, if you want Christmassy ears, check the site after Christmas. Or really um, any holiday probably. Yeah, like Halloween ones, yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, so I bought these. I, they're too cute, you guys. I have too many ears, <laughs> but I broke down anyway and I'm not mad about it. So I have, Ears like this already, but they're not sequined and they don't have a bow. And I'm like, well, now I need this. Basically, those are Animal garbage. Kingdom ears. Yeah, they're just throw them away. No, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, so I bought them at Animal Kingdom and they have the cute little bow in the sequins and it's like the giraffe print there. Um, let me see if it's like actually comfy. That's a good question, huh? Hat hair. Yeah, these are way looser and way more comfortable than like the standard ears are. That's surprising. Thank goodness. So, love, can't wait to wear an Animal Kingdom. I think we're going back in February or March. We'll see. Um, so, these are going with me. Yeah, I'm out of stuff until we do Okay, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. So, real fast on that note, I bought this. Is this shirt cheesy? Maybe. Do I care? No. Mm. <laughs> Does it go great with those ears I just bought? Definitely. Yeah. No one is wearing this shirt, and I'm like, why? It's such a cute little, like, cut-off tank. It has the classic, like, Disney's Animal Kingdom, like, cheesy. Doesn't it make you think of the 90s? Oh, yeah. In the best way. Like, park opening. Like, kind of yeah. exactly. I was like, oh, I'm going to need that. Yeah. I just loved it. And it's always 90,000 degrees in Animal Kingdom, it's no matter the time so of year. So, in Animal Kingdom. Oh, I had to have it. Yeah. Like, why is no one wearing this? I don't know. I think it's they cute. They Trendsetter. I doubt it. All right, you got one more I thing I have from one more thing from Disney. Now, this was from Epcot, actually. So, still Disney. Um, I usually don't buy like random things in the shops. I like to look at them, but I don't buy them. I don't know. But this caught my eye in the UK pavilion and I literally like walked past it, looked at it, kept going <laughs> and then like went back, looked at it again, grabbed it, bought it. I was like, I don't care. It's too cute. The box itself is cute, but that eventually will be recycled. Look at this cup. It says time for one more cuppa before I go. And then the other side says biscuit. And then it says top up. <laughs> on the bottom. <laughs> I love it! So this is totally going to be a hand wash only. Um, oh, it says dishwasher proof. Ah, uh, not. I don't think so. Proof. Not microwave proof, but I don't know that I want to dishwash <laughs> this either. But I thought this was so beautiful. It made me think of like Mary Poppins and yeah, like classic. tea in England. And You got it in the UK pavilion, right? Yes. Yeah. So it seemed, even though it's yeah. not at all. So love this. Um, I, I mean, we were just there a month ago. So check it out if it's still sold. This is like the prettiest mug I own. 
True. Charlie. So we're going to pop to Universal. Universal stuff. Then we're going to do our pins because we have both Universal and Disney pins. Then we're going to do the baby stuff. Got it? Yeah. Got it? Good. Great. Grand. So the first thing I got uh, is a deaf beer koozie for beer bottles. And I think that it's so funny. <laughs> it's I, they, so they, they actually served up beer there, and I tried it. It was pretty good. You tried it yeah, too. It yeah. was fine. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I kind of expected it to be bad. I don't know why, just because... Yeah, it was actually... Just, but I enjoyed it. Good. Uh, but I don't know. I just thought that was hilarious, just to have Duff beer. It's just fun. Yeah. yeah, I just... We love cheesy stuff like that, so there you go. Um, we also wanted to get a Universal Studios mug. I don't think we own uh, one. No, we didn't get one um, so we, we like like classic stuff like this. Kind of like I was saying, the Animal Kingdom Lodge is like classic 90s or like classic park opening Animal yeah. Kingdom. This is like classic Universal Studios to me, like back when Nickelodeon was filmed there and they were doing like Slime Time Live or what, is that what it was called? Yeah, that's where the Good Blue Man Group performs now, right? Yeah, something like that. Um, so we loved this, just simple, but it's a good, it's, it's a good. It's a good one. So the thing I'm probably most excited about of anything that we bought, um, I got a, uh, a Hogwarts School Gryffindor sweater and it's so subtle. It's like actual wool, right? Yeah, it's yeah. actually a really nice sweater, yeah. Um, it was pretty expensive. It was $90. But Tyler, you but, never, like, you so rarely buy clothes for yourself. <laughs> well, that, and I'm like, it's too perfect. I can use it, like, all, the, I wear sweaters all the time, mm -hmm. like, every, all day, every day. So it can, I can use it all the time. And perfect Halloween costume. You got this, you got, a, like, a pair of slacks, and I bought this tie. Boom, Harry Potter student. <laughs> Boom, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Well, I'm not Harry Potter. I just go to well, Hogwarts. We see. <laughs> oh, okay. Just how uh, Anyway, I am obsessed with these. I'm so excited about both of these. I'm excited we've done this video so you can, like, wear them. I know, because we kind of kept they... everything in bags together so we didn't forget anything. Um, That's dry clean only, though, so keep that in mind. Yes. But the they guy... have them for all four houses. That's the Gryffindor one. They did have them for all four houses. You could. Should. I'm going to buy a Slytherin one just to be ironic. Um, I'm Is offending all the Slytherin. I don't know. Just... <laughs> okay, so I'm Ravenclaw. How about you toned you enough? Um, so I got this hat. I wanted to get something and I was like, they had socks, they had like sweaters. And I was like, I just kind of want this hat. So I think it's so fun. Like we were going sledding or just going to the store. I don't know. I think it's just so anytime, fun. I love the navy blue. Anytime just, you need hat. Anytime just drive up, get just a tote. Get coke. <laughs> Name that movie. <laughs> um, anyway, so I was pumped about this. And again, they had one for every house, of course. I debated about this so much. It's the Deathly Hallows. Yeah. <laughs> It's the Deathly Hallows, and it's a keychain, and I really, really wanted it, but it's kind of pointy, and I was like, I don't, because I keep my keys in my pocket. Mm -hmm. like, I don't want to have, like, I don't want to be jabbed in the leg all the time. Yeah, you were very concerned about how because, often you would be jabbed in the well, leg. Well, I don't want to get jabbed in the leg all the time. <laughs> I bought it anyway, um, and I, I, I am excited about it, because I don't like things on my keys. I like just, like, we have the key fob, and that's all, fob, fob, fob. Mm -hmm. That's all I want. But I'm like, mm -hmm. but also be kind of cool to have, like, one cool keychain. So I got this. Uh, it's very I, I cool. I hope I don't get jabbed in the light. <laughs> it's the curse of the Deathly Hallows. It's true. Um, so we got these for our friends. They who shall not be named, so they don't know it's them until we give it to them. <laughs> I don't think they'd be watching this, though, Probably. actually. Um, but we got them two different socks for the houses of Hufflepuff and Gryffindor. Um, these are awesome. Also overpriced. Everything is. That's the theme. But... <laughs> It, they're just cool. And I know they're both so geeky like we are that they will totally wear these around yeah. the house a decent amount. So I was like, worth it. Yeah. <laughs> so we're kind of, we're going to show some magnets we got at both places. Um, one of them just on the universal theme, we got this little Islands of Adventure. The only reason we got this one, they did not have a lot of options. For magnets, no. Um, but we always get magnets. So this one says Islands of Adventure. The only reason we got this style and only Islands of Adventure is because we got this style in just the Universal Studios one last time. So we figure we can kind of have this set and have them near He's each other. He's already torn up that ball. <gasps> All the fluff's Fluff's gone. gone. Fluff's out. <laughs> well, I hope it was working. Well. <laughs> never even threw it. <laughs> that poor ball never got to live <sighs> its life as a ball. We also got this, which is again, a really heavy, nice magnet, um, but it's got like Mickey on it and it's got a bottle opener on the back. And we're like, you know, we can just keep this in the fridge. And then Jessica thought it was so funny. She's like, oh, our friends will love to know where the bottle opener is. So we just leave it on the fridge. No, no. It was particularly to, Benjamin. Yeah. So he, he can go up, like, pulls it off the fridge, opens it up. And just slaps it right back. Like, that's who he is. Like, he loves knowing where stuff. Like, doesn't that just sound right to you? Yeah. Oh, you my You were very adamant about that point. <laughs> Ben's going to love to know where this is. 
so he doesn't have to ask for a bottle opener. Although he can He's use anything like, to open a bottle. It's amazing. He's like, what is, that? Noise. what is that, a Kleenex? Give me that. I can use it to open yeah, this bottle. Yeah, he, he can. He He's like, like you got to use your thumb as the fulcrum. I'm like, what are you talking? Shut up, Ben. Nerd. <laughs> um, so the other magnet we got was from Art of Animation because we stayed there with my parents and his parents. And I ended up buying, I like literally ran as in as yeah. we were leaving. Ran in and I bought, there were three of these left and I bought literally all three. I bought one for us, one for his parents, one for yeah. ours. Because yeah. I just thought that was fun and really all of us kind of collect magnets of places we yeah. travel. So yeah. um, I, and it's actually like really pretty and very art of animation. -y. E, yeah. Ask, E. We're going to do pins. We have a ton of Disney ones. We got three universal ones. So let's do those and then we'll do the baby stuff. Yeah. All right. You bet. Um, okay. This, I was pumped about this one. <laughs> we had a crusty burger for the first time. Yeah. And so we figured how appropriate to commemorate with a crusty the clown. We, I have a pin book I haven't opened and like organized yet, but we figured we'll organize it by like, okay, universal pins and then like each Disney parks pins and then like resort, a page for resort pins. Yeah. Love the crusty the clown one. I thought that was cool. And they are starting to like really up their pin yeah, game, they which are. is really cool. Uh, we also got... Harry Potter castle. This is probably our coolest pin. It, One of it really is. It's oh, it's very so detailed and like heavy. It really is. Yeah. Again, it's maybe we'll nice do a Harry movie. Potter page too for Sep Seppo. And then again, we just got a classic Universal Studios pin because we didn't have any pins from Universal yeah. yet. So we got eight Disney pins. We're gonna talk about. Um, I'll start Quickly. real fast. Um, the, we got a Disney Christmas one because we went to the Very Merry Christmas party this year. We were trying to find one that said it, and we didn't look during the party. I wonder. Yeah. I think they had like limited edition ones from the party but you can only buy them during party hours we, anyway yeah, we just, we just forgot. forgot so we bought it the next day and it's just a christmas one it's still really cute but yeah to commemorate that um also we got one that says ducktales because we're both obsessed with ducktales right now because who isn't right now like if you grew up in the uh, yeah. night come on but like brandon yuri who's the lead singer of panic at the disco has a sit uh, has a version of him singing this on the tonight show with jimmy fallon and it's amazing look it up look it up we'll link it below it's so good. it is so good we've watched that's, it way too many that's times. why we bought because we're obsessed with that video right now yeah <laughs> um then i bought an art of animation pin again because we stayed there and we tried to buy pins every where we stay. We got one for Gigi that says, my first visit. Oh, yes. So cute. Um, and then we got a really nice Grand Floridian one. We've stayed there before and we've bought pins there before, but we hadn't seen this one yet. So we were like, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pretty. So nice. Um, also, Gigi's first ride was It's a Small World. So we have Appropriate. It's a Small World. Oh, so good. Yeah, it was our first ride. And then I bought myself this pin that says world's best mom. <laughs> is that sad that I bought it for us? Not if you say I bought it for you. <laughs> Tyler bought me this world's best mom pin. That <laughs> also sounds weird. Regardless, it's it's really cute. It's got Minnie Mouse and a little ribbon that says it. Also, I got a greatest dad. And so if you got a greatest mom and I got a greatest dad, we picked them out for ourselves. So I guess <laughs> Gigi has to decide if it was actually right. <laughs> she he can say I will revoke one your greatest dad, dad pin. But it's goofy because he's... He's a pretty good dad. He's a pretty good dad to Max. Aww. And then, obviously, Toy Story Land just opened, and it was our first time seeing that, so we got one that said Toy Story Land as well. That's a really nice one. Baby stuff. One thing we were so excited to get, and I was like, we need to get it, like, early on, and then we didn't end up buying it until, like, way after Shiji had already gone home with our grandparents, with her grandparents. But we bought it anyway, because we figured we'll display it in her room, and she's going with us again probably a couple more times yeah. this year. It is one of the pair of, like, infant young child ears and it says Gigi on the back and first of all it only took like five minutes to get this done yeah it, it wasn't was so as expensive fast. as i thought like yeah honestly so just something to be aware of it's not as expensive as you think and it doesn't take very long yeah, the so embroidery was so like cute. 70 bucks or something like that i it feel was... like it's even cheaper i feel it was like five yeah so really regardless it's <laughs> it's a worthwhile thing and a lot of you guys when i posted about this on instagram uh, a lot of you guys were like oh my gosh i still have mine from when i was a kid and blah blah, blah. and i'm like see that's what i want i want Gigi to have this Forever. We also got this book, and it's Pirates of the Caribbean in book form. <laughs> it is hilarious. It's literally the the, so the lyrics to the song, mm -hmm. but in a book. Uh, but it has a CD with it, too. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Um, so that was just kind of a fun, like, she has a lot of books, but that's one we figure we'll maybe write in, like, bought on her first Disney trip and just keep. Um, so this I bought for her. And it, what is it? 2T... Oh, it was just extra small. Whenever it'll fit her. It's basically like a sweatshirt that says Walt Disney World on the back. It's this pink fuzzy thing. I'm hoping it she can fit into it for like a year or two because, again, it was overpriced. But I was like, but they're not going to sell it next year. And I better buy it now and I'll just put it in her closet. So, oh, and it's got a little embroidered Minnie Mouse on the front too. So, honestly, I wanted it and they didn't have it in an adult size. So, I was like, fine, I'll buy it for her. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, we also got Baby's First Christmas, cute little ornament, and they uh, they put her name on the back. And the first time they did it, they actually spelled it incorrectly because uh, their full name is Genevieve. Mm -hmm. And so we went in and they, they had us look at it and we were like, no, it's not spelled correctly. So they redid it again. So it's not that if they misspell something or whatever, just let them know. Yeah, they'll fix it. But we got it at the cute shop in Liberty Square yeah. in Disney, in Magic Kingdom. So, and it did take a couple hours. They were like, oh, it'll be, check, come back in a few hours. So that does take a little bit longer. Because I think they only had like one is, artist. Yeah, and like it really is like, like a, you put it into a computer program and it does it. This, yeah. You actually have to have somebody do it. Yeah. So this was another find I bought for her at Unique Glow, and they have a lot of cute baby stuff, a lot, and like kid stuff yeah. for Disney stuff for cheap, so another option. Yeah. But this is 18 to 24 months. She's only six months, so we've got like another year or two. But um, it's it's probably meant for boys, but I just love them so much. It's got like a bunch of little like Pooh Bear characters, and then this, these cute like light mustard pants, and I was just like, it's just so cute. So I bought it for her. Doesn't that like make your heart happy? So I had a Pooh Bear room as a kid. We also got her this little Slinky Dog toy. I don't even know. I don't even know what all. I think it's just like a little. I think like, it's just Slinky Dog. It yeah. might talk. Looks like it might have batteries. Um, she can't use it literally for a couple more years. But we were yeah. like, we'll just buy it now. Cause again, what if they don't sell it? I don't know. Also, we were suckered in cause the ride was really fun, yeah. and the ears were like Pinocchio's ears. So we were like, oh, we need it. Yeah, we need can it. put it away for a little while and then. Yeah. Stop. Also, something free we got first visit because it was Gigi's first visit but you know mm -hmm. the classic pin oh yeah and actually we got this at the contemporary which we had just walked to for fun and we like stopped at the bar there and stuff but they uh we had forgotten and it was like a day before we left no it was the day we left yeah and so we went to the um guest services yeah we went to just, just the front desk, front desk, desk yeah. there and said hey do you guys have any first visits They're like yeah so they just handed us one so if you ever forget last minute just go to any resort and ask them and they'll give you one yeah and finally this was bought out of necessity, but kind of we Meh. we like searched high and low yeah. for this. Um, it seems really well made for a kid's suitcase. For a kid's suitcase, and again, it was kind of pricey, but it's one of those things that we figure like if she's going to stay the night at her grandparents or at her aunt or uncles or you know she can have her own little suitcase. Yeah. And we travel a lot, and we're planning on bringing her, and it would be nice for her to have her own little thing for her clothes or really probably just, as she's younger just for her toys, toys and yeah. then we'll pack her clothes you know i just thought it was so cute yeah. and it is pretty well made like you said for a kid's suitcase i've seen some like you can buy just at a regular store that are like they would rip in an instant but yeah. this one it's actually all sparkly on the sides too yeah so and it's cute. a little rolly she can pull it behind her in a couple years maybe a little more she's than a so couple <laughs> um is that everything i think that's everything we did it i did it <sighs> Um, so we hope you enjoyed. I will link, I do Disney hauls. You're not usually with me. It was way more fun with you here. I'm mm -hmm. sure you guys would agree. Um, but we do Disney hauls. <laughs> I do Disney hauls. Every single time we go, really. Yeah. They're not usually this big, but a lot of times yeah. they are. I will link my recent haul down below if you want to see like what I bought the last time we were there. It was actually our baby moon. Right. So I was pregnant then last winter. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you give it a thumbs up if you did. Definitely go check out Tyler's channel, Tyler Travels TV, if you are interested in any of our vlogs, our travel ones, our daily life ones, our Disney ones. I hope you'll subscribe to mine if you like makeup videos and then lifestyle videos and then Disney sometimes hauls. a splash of Disney. <laughs> <laughs> um, but other than that, we will see you guys in our next one. Yeah. Bye. Bye.